Paulum Pong. He is assistant professor at Kasesa University, Department of Agronomy, and has done his PhD from University of Nottingham, London. He has great interest in meiotic recombination and breeding for high temperature stress. Dr. Malumbong, please. Thank you, for Chairman. Afternoon, everybody. Uh, today, I will talk about the uh, rice gene for meiotic recombination uh, using the OSDMC1 and RAT51 complement function in a Lambdopsis mutant. So, uh, what is the homologous recombination? Homologous recombination is the exchange or replacement of a DNA region by its homologous DNA sequence from the homologous chromosome or sister cortex. For homologous recombination, is an important process of life which contributes the genetic diversity and the maintenance of the genome stability. Uh, it has a function through its activity both in meiotic and mitotic cells. The bio biological law of homologous recombination can be divided into four, uh, four areas. First, through the DNA repair. The second is DNA replication for less cubed. And the third is telomere maintenance. And the last one is the meiotic chromosome segregation that uh, our project will uh, assessment on this, this laws. <coughs> Why study meiotic recombination? Uh, meiotic recombination is a fundamental aspect of sexual reproduction and evolution that provide the physical basic for understanding the genetics. And we can apply to profile interlace for reverse plant breeding to fix the segregation in the next generation. And also its potential application for gene targeting by using the transformation technique. Uh, this slide shows a model of the evolution of the history of Reg A and Rat51 family. Uh, for Rat51, light gene evolved from the Stinkton Reg A ancestor, probably by gene duplication, gene loss, and perhaps even endosymbiotic gene transfer. In the eukaryotic organisms, that alpha and that beta were duplicated before the divergence of major eukaryotic groups. And gene duplicate produced the RAT51 and DMC1 genes from RAT alpha, whereas the RAT51C, RAT51B, RAT51D, XRCC2, and XRCC3 uh, arose from RAT beta. Next slide shows the process of double stand back in the meiotic state. <coughs> the process and enzymology of Homologous recombination has been studied in simple eukaryotes, such as the yeast. Meiotic recombination in yeast is initiated by the generation of the Bernstein-Bake that can be used to explain in the plants also. First step, the endonuclease polarization 11 or spo 11 induce DNA double stand back into meiotic chromosomes. After that, the initial double stand back are reset from 5 palm to 3 palms to produce the single stand DNA by the MRX complex, which is composed of MRE11, LAT50, and XRCC2. And then single stand DNA and invades the homologous double stand back DNA by LAT51 and the MC1 genes. So the next step is the holiday junction. The protein of RAS51 and DMC1 has been identified in several animals and plants, such as in the Arabidopsis, in maize, in rice, and in lily. So, the parallel of RAS51 that can work together with DMC1 and RAS51 is also RAS51C, RAS51B, RAS51D, XRCC2, and XRCC3. But uh, in our project, we focus only DMC1 and LAS51. What is DMC1 gene? DMC1 is disruption of meiotic control, uh, especially in the meiotic cells. They require for meiotic recombination, 
play an important role in homologous chromosome pairing. Uh, if the absence of DNA DMC1 cell fail to repair the two double strand break in yeast and in mouse, but in the plant just disturb meiosis and then can produce some seed set in the plant. And for the last 51 genes, last 51 genes require for efficient chromosome pairing, homozygous synapses, chromosome segregation, double strand break repair in meiosis. Uh, if we in activation of that 51 gene, the result in a decrease of both mitotic and meiotic homologous recombination. That is mean the DMC1 special in the meiotic tissue, but for the last 51, they can play role in both mitotic and meiotic tissue. For the objective of the project, we try to complementation and or expression of limoetic gene, both DMC1 and that 51 in Arabidopsis mutant line. So for DMC1 and LAT51 in rice, uh, rice has two copies of DMC1 and LAT51 on chromosome 11 and chromosome 12, because both of chromosomes are the synteny together. Uh, we can find the LAT51A1 and DMC1B on chromosome 11, and DMC1A and LAT51A2 on chromosome 12. <clears throat> this slide shows the, the alignment of the uh, amino acid sequence compared between DMC1AB and Arabidopsis DMC1. For the compare between DMC1A and B, is a very similarity at the 97.9% at amino acid level. And when we compare together with Arabidopsis DNA, DMC1, it shows 81% at amino acid level. And for LAT51, A1 and A2, uh, we, when we compare with the Arabidopsis LAT51, uh, the similarity is show nearly 80% at amino acid level. And this is all a review literature from Degenwang 2007 to show the DMC1 mutant that uh, knock out both DMC1 A and B by using RNAi. But uh, the results show the RNA line line crew the, and develop normally during the vegetative state but the seed production was severely disrupted compared with white thai plant and the pollen grain in white thai were viable, regular in shape and, but the pollen grain in RNAi lines uh, were completely non-viable and RNAi lines had effect in bivalent formation and subsequent unequal chromosome segregation, equular spores, generation and induced change in male meiotic location. So our project, uh, we try to observe the single knockout, the MC1A knockout and the MC1B knockout in rice by using TOS 17 lines from Japan. Uh, the results show the homozygous mutant of the MC1A and B were only partially viable. Moreover, there was a significant difference observed when compared the potent viability between containing no copy, one copy, and two copies of y type DMC1 genes. Uh, we suggest that, that potent viability for the single mutant of DMC1A and B is higher than for the double mutant. This is the INI line. Thus, uh, DMC1A and B are likely to function together and at least can partially complement the loss of the other function. So this slide shows the morphology of the enter of the com compared between y type and the MC1 mutant. The enter of homozygous plant uh, both in the MC1 A and B knock out line were smaller than y type and found the curve shape and the C set of the homozygous mutant uh, can produce some seed set, but the lower than the Y type. And we and when we assessment of the meiosis state compared to be, between the Y type 
and the knockout of the single mutant DMC1A and B. <coughs> the difference between wild type and homozygous mutant became more evident when chromosome condensed at diakinesis state. In the wild type, plants 12 bivalent were consistently formed at diakinesis, but however, in the mutant, nuclei often had more than 12 bivalent. That is mean the present of your some chromosome have the univalent, and uh, after that the metaphase one two telophase two, some chromosome is not alignment at the center of the the cell, and finally the myocyte form the homozygous mutant plant generates the mix of tetrad, uh, dyad, and triad. So when we compare with the Arabidopsis mutant. In Arabidopsis, LAT51 and DMC1 just only one copy, different form lines, and this form uh, the result by Lee 2004 uh, of LAT51 mutant in Arabidopsis. The LAT51 was completely sterile. The mutant pollen grain were non viable viable in size and usually, usually smaller than white height. The mutant myocytes produce multiple spores, ranking in the number from 5 to 9. At here, uh, the figure D. And however, in the DMC1 knockout, the DMC1 can just reduce fertility and seed, pro and seed can produce at 6.3% compared with white high level. And moreover, 75% of mutants, mutant seedlings were abnormal and only 40% grew into the major plant. So move to the complementation method. We use the DMC1A, B, lat 51 a one and A2 clone and transform into heterozygous plant of TNA knockout in the Labidopsis. And then screening in the G1, T1 generation and check the gene expression both of in rice and allodopsis gene by RT-PCR and check the phenotyping of the transgenic plant uh, such as the flower and the silic. When we transform and the plant are segregated in T1, we can find on many, many genotypes and the genotype that we collect to use to phenotyping uh, we use the tDNA line that homozygous mutant and carry the lat 51 a one and maybe lat 51 uh, dmc one a and b also for this line we can choose plan number one number two number six something like that to check the t1 segregation uh, t1 morphology of flower and silic this slide show in the DMC one also. We we will uh, we shoot the the plan that show the homozygous mutant of TNA DMC one and carrying the DMC one B of lice, and then we confirm the expression by RT PCR uh, both of expression of Arabidopsis and lice gene. In the white type of Arabidopsis, uh, we you can you can see that the lat 51 DMC1 and lat 51 uh, sorry Arabidopsis DMC1 and Arabidopsis lat 51 show normal X paired in the white type, but in the mutant line Arabidopsis lat 51 and DMC1 cannot X paired, and also in transgenic lines the Arabidopsis lat 51 and DMC1 cannot X paired also. However, in the uh, transgenic plant, DMC1 of line and LAS51A1 can expand in highly level. So for the phenotyping of the morphology of flower, this slide show the DMC1 transformant plant. The results show that the morphology of enter between mutant and T2 generation are not are not different. It means the right DMC1 is cannot complement and function into Arabidopsis knockout. 
and the silic also is is the same is the same type. That is mean cannot produce uh, normally the silic. However, in the light fifty one of light transformant in the alabidopsis, compared between white type, we found two type of the enter. Let's show in arrow blue and and red. In blue, it show the enter that can produce some pollen grain and has fileable. And the other pollen and the other enter is complete sterile. And then we can see the silic of transformant in the arrow of the white arrow. Some silic cannot develop, but the some silic is developed normally. And this is show the pollen variability also. This is the Y type of Arabidopsis, and figure C and D is the pollen grain variability in Arabidopsis Alab um, DMC1 mutant. This show the partial sterile, but in the last 51 mutant in Arabidopsis is completely sterile. And when we complement with last 51 A1, the pollen variability in the transgenic lines can produce the pollen but in the DMC1A and B in rice cannot function in the Arabidopsis mutant and the pollen vi percent of pollen viability of the transgenic of last 51A1 is can produce pollen viability at 60 percent and compared with the white tie is nearly 100 percent so it's so significantly, but it's also uh, complement in some part of, of the function. So in the summary, right, like, like the MC1A and the MC1B over expression gave all its life functional complementation in homozygous mutant plant. And the other hand, last 51 a one over x gave partial functional complementation in homozygous mutant plant. So finally, I would like to thank Dr. Sean, Dr. Illich, Dr. Uh, Dr. Katie from University of Nottingham, Dr. Philip Bain from John Inn Center, and Dr. Mali Tuskow from Paris University to give the TNA knockout to me. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for presenting <coughs> interesting results of your investigations. If there are any questions, maybe uh, you could answer one of my questions. The anthers in these mutants were curved in rice. Yeah. So is it that this uh, gene is also active in anther wall or only in the Microspores. So, sorry. So this this gene is function in only pollen pollen grain. Yeah. All right, so if there are no more questions, please join me in giving him thanks for his presentation. And the next presentation.